they're no longer just icons of the Wild West. Coyotes have been moving east for decades, some into suburban communities like these, just a few miles north of New York City. They came in because wolves had been uh, hunted to extinction and there was really a niche uh, to be filled for a top predator. Over the last 15 years, their numbers have really begun to soar. This creates new problems for suburban residents not used to sharing their community with an omnivorous predator. Coyotes can easily kill and eat small household pets and can even attack small children. But it's really important to remember that these are wild animals and you don't want them to turn into pets. Studies are underway to find out how coyotes are using their new suburban habitat and to identify where they might come into conflict with people. The nonprofit Wildlife Trust has set up a network of camera traps at Teton Lake Reservation in New York. The study is already giving interesting clues to how coyotes are adapting. We leave the cameras out for approximately three weeks. And we're using them to basically just sense this wildlife to get a feel for the types of habitats that they're using and a rough idea of the numbers of animals. Some of the photos of the coyotes are right under the power line in this shrubland which really makes a lot of sense. Underneath power lines is an ideal habitat for coyotes because they prefer shrub habitat. So we think these power lines in a way are kind of like coyote highways. Nearby, this team from Cornell University uses radio collars with GPS receivers to track individual coyotes. Data on their movement and location are recorded every hour of every day for more than a year and downloaded directly to researchers' laptops. We're about halfway through our study and it, the initial results indicate that the coyotes select for natural habitat, but they do occasionally cross from natural habitat through residential area and back into another natural habitat to forage. And that's the point of conflict. Conflict that will certainly continue as coyotes spread into more suburbs. It's important to have predators like coyotes because they're part of the ecosystem that helps keep nature in balance. The challenge is, how do we find a way for people and wildlife to coexist? We are going to make management recommendations to keep coyotes wild and keep people safe. That's really what we want in the end. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.